All right, guys, in this video, we're exploring immediate geometry within Godot. Let's go. Let's click on our project, which is called immediate geometry or this geometry. There we go. We're in there and our scene is comprised of a spatial node at the root and an immediate geometry like object and with an attached script there you go there's the script and then another one which is a a node with a script that actually creates the the it's in, it, well it creates the uh, immediate geometry within code and does it all in code that kind of helps us see how we do it in code as opposed to changing the parameters in the, the properties of the object the visual object and we have a camera directional light and world environment node because we want to kind of reset the environment such that there is no ambient light we just turn it off it's just uh, we use our directional light to illuminate our scene parts let's have a look at our scene and when we play it let's go let's play 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 there let's go you can see we have a reference uh, cube which we did with a, a mesh instance and made it into a cube with just ordinary just flat sides and then the next one is our our uh, in immediate uh, geometry object where we we programmed in three points three vertices in a triangular mode of doing it and they each point had a had a drawing color assigned to it before the actual point was placed so we went blue green red and so forth and then final rendering is a triangle as we specified and the as the interpolation between the points to give us our color gradient here then this third one is a scattering of random points where the points are scaled up like five pixels per point i think it was set up in the code and just to demonstrate how to do that so that's just a little bit of intro into immediate uh, what do we call it immediate rendering of geometry in 3d in Godot I'm just working out how to do, I'm understanding how to do it myself before I, I do like a tutorial and integrate it into my tutorials so that's just a little bit of stuff we got going for you now okay 